Happy Tuesday, Amber Goodrich here with Eat Yourself Fit. It's Quick Tip Tuesday. Um, today, I just want to talk about the power of one habit at a time. When we want to start our health journey, when we've decided enough is enough, when we've decided that we want to move in a better, more positive direction, sometimes we overwhelm ourselves by trying to change too much at once, right? And so we're like, well, we're going to overhaul this and we're going to change that. And we've got all of these things that we want to change because we know what we need to do to better our health. But doing too much too fast can get overwhelming, right? It can ca cause us to quit. Um, you can, it's like, it's like sprinting and then quitting all, uh, you know, and then, and then we kind of feel like we failed ourselves because we tried to take on too much and then we couldn't do it. We couldn't handle it. We couldn't juggle it. So what I encourage you to do, if you're trying to seek better health is pick out one habit at a time that you feel is totally doable and focus on that until it feels like it's you're consistent in it and it doesn't feel like it's a lot of work anymore. For example, um, if you know that you're under drinking water, pick that as your habit to focus on one habit at a time. Our journey to health is not a sprint. Okay. Our journey to health is slow and intentional. And if you just do small incremental changes one after another and keep that progress moving forward, you will get to where you want to go. It is much more effective to do a little bit and keep moving a little bit at a time as long as you're moving in the right direction instead of sprinting and quitting, sprinting and quitting. That sprint and quit mentality is not going to get you anywhere, all right? And then you start feeling like, crud because you give up on yourself or you feel like you can't handle it all, but one habit at a time. Hey, so just pick a habit that, you know, pick something that, you know, you want to improve on and focus on that one thing at a time until you're comfortable with that habit and then start layering in new habits. So maybe it's starting with focusing on water this week, right? Making sure that you're getting your water intake up, or maybe it's, you know, that you eat out too much. And so you're going to, to dedicate at least two dinners, homemade dinners at home, this week. Um, or maybe it's you want to start moving a little bit more. So you're going to make sure that you dedicate at least two days a week to walking. It's small habits done consistently create those changes, right? So please don't overwhelm yourself and don't overburden yourself by trying to, trying to do too much at once and then feeling like you're failing yourself when it all comes tumbling down. One habit at a time. What can you control right now, what do you think you can implement consistently right now? And no matter how small it is, don't get down on yourself. If you know, like I use water a lot because most people are dehydrated. Most people are not drinking enough water, pure, lovely, beautiful water, right? So I, I tend to, to use water as my example, right? But it can be as simple as trying to intake or up your, your water intake, right? And there's no shame in being proud of yourself for being able to conquer that habit, being able to implement that, and then moving on and, and, and trying to implement other things. Like maybe it's as simple as making sure that you're adding a vegetable to every single meal. Okay. Don't overwhelm yourself with this. It is, it is a journey and that journey is going to take time. And as long as you're trying to make these small changes and you're still moving forward instead of sprinting and quitting, sprinting and quitting. Okay. One habit at a time. All right, until next time, eat more, eat well, eat happy. Bye.